Hi. I just want to encourage you guys out there that, you know, if you have a dream in your life, something you really desire to do, something that's really important to you, that you need, with the Lord's help, you need to carry it through. You need to see it through. The Lord wants to do things in your life. And he'll give you desires. He'll give you something you want to achieve, something you want to do in your life. He wants you to be able to achieve that thing. But the thing is, there are many people around who will say that you don't stand a chance of doing it. You're wasting your time. They may laugh at you and put you off. And some people will be put off about the thing that they are dreaming about achieving, are dreaming about doing. God wants to give you the ability to be able to carry out your dream and to achieve what you want to achieve. David, for example, in the Bible, when he went against Goliath, the uh, king Saul said to him, you're just a youth, you're just a boy, you're just nothing, you're little, you're just nothing. And David could have <clears throat> taken it to heart and think, well, oh, I can't do it then, I'm, I'm no good. I want to achieve something, I want to defeat this enemy who's Goliath, who's dishonouring my lord. But I feel like everybody's putting me off. I, perhaps I ought not to do it. No, he didn't think that. He trusted God even more and gave, and gave so reasons why God was going to help him because he killed the bear and the lion that tried to take his sheep away, or his lambs. And so David went out and did the impossible in God's strength. He decided to achieve something for God, to honour him. And David went out and defeated Goliath and honoured God and defeated that person who was dishonouring the God of all creation of heaven and earth. Look, God wants to do the same for you. If you have something in your life you really want to achieve, first of all, put God into the picture and say, Lord, I want to achieve this for your glory. I will give you praise and honour for it. I want to see you uplifted as you show your power and your glory through me. That's the first thing. Second thing is stop looking um, or listening to people who say negative things to you about you. And it could be loads of them. You might say, you know, I really want to do, I don't know, um, a half marathon or a 10K or a 5K, which is, which is running, of course. But they say you can't do that. You're too overweight. Look at you. You're too old. You'll never do it. You've got disabilities. They will try and put you off try and make you feel useless try and put you down make you feel down depressed make you feel worthless make you feel useless you know you go up to them with this with this wonderful idea that you really want to do and they laugh at you they tease you they mock you listen don't listen to them because sometimes that's the enemy trying to put you off what you really 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 want to do with god and for God. Secondly, if you have a dream, start to make efforts to put yourself in a place to be able to achieve that. Um, seek people's advice of what to do to be able to achieve that dream. Ask the Lord to give you strength. If it's finance, finance. If it's health in some kind of way or ability to run with bad health, then to give you that ability. But in that, think of the glory that God will get through achieving what you did. When I did my 100 mile, I did not do it in my own strength. I wanted to do it in God's strength. I wanted him to come along and have, enjoy it with me and be part of the adventure. And he did, and he helped me most wonderfully. The same too when I did my marathon. Um, you know, I flew around the course in his strength and knocked off half an hour from my previous year. God did wonders. God's done wonders in lots of other places in my life. Things I've wanted to achieve. I want you to have, be able to achieve things. I want you to have a dream. Something that you want to do. I don't want you just to be living life and, and, being, and being a good servant to God. I want you to have something that you, you really want to do. That you want to achieve. And in his strength to be able to achieve it. So may you be encouraged to do so. That with Lord, all things are possible. He wants to do something wonderful in your life. Whatever it might be, don't worry about money, your health, disabilities, your size, your shape. 
whatever hindrances you may have in your life, don't worry about it. Just give it to God. If it's something you want to do, then ask him to give you strength to do it. And he will do.